The David Amar North African Jewish Heritage Center is a cultural space and museum that preserves Moroccan history and culture in the heart of Jerusalem. JN1 has come to both Jerusalem and Casablanca to speak to both its active and honorary presidents about the importance of this educational space. 25 years ago, Haim Cohen and a few friends volunteered and fundraised to open the David Amar North African Jewish Heritage Center that is now housed outside the ancient city walls of Jerusalem. It is the first of its kind in Israel to provide a permanent space that focuses on Moroccan Jewish culture and history and hosts thousands of visitors each year. In the last year, just for example, visiting here uh, more or less 20,000 people, just with groups, because we must arrange it with the leader. And they came from all Israel, uh, soldiers, Parents, uh, uh, retired uh, people, teachers, everyone, everyone, and tourists, and tourists. And uh, all of them, uh, when they came, they don't believe what uh, they, see, uh, they see here, especially uh, people from Morocco. As the grandson of the Grand Rabbi of Fez, Yehuda Danan, Haim Cohen sees the center's importance only becoming more relevant to Moroccan descendants in Israel as the older generations that knew Morocco firsthand are aging or have passed away in the last few decades. One of the most important aims of the center is to show the rich history and customs of Moroccan immigrants that came to Israel and did not see their cultural roots valued positively in Israeli society. When uh, in the 1950-52, when the Moroccan life, uh, Jewish, came to Israel, they was very poor. Uh, the Ashkenaz, if we can say it, from uh, Europe, say or think that they are uh, an alphabet, they have no nothing. And it's not, it's, it's not was, it uh, doesn't was uh, so easy. And we tried to make for the children and the grandchildren to know the real historic and the real culture of the families in Morocco. And we feel now how it's changed the mind of the people coming to visit here about this problem. It's one of them. The museum and cultural space was recently renovated five years ago and brought wood and craftsmen from Morocco to transform the center. Haim Cohen took Jane one on a tour of the David Amar Center to see the newly renovated spaces and displays that are open to the public to visit or use for conferences and lectures. This is one of the interesting uh, uh, buildings that you have here today in Jerusalem, historic one. Uh, from every place you'll see another view of the patio. Every door, it's more or less one year of works by hand. And look, it's from two sides. It's very special, like you can see from here. The David Amar Heritage Center aims to preserve the unique Moroccan synagogue songs and prayer books, as well as photographs, videos, and other multimedia that show life events like Brit Milas and the Moroccan pre-wedding henna parties. Visitors can access these documents directly through exhibits and watch and listen to documents on computers at the center. We tried to keep all the Jewish life in Morocco, especially with the PU team, if you know the PU team, the, the, the Hazanut from the synagogues. Uh, all the families do in the, in the holidays, in Pesach, in Red, especially to, the, to try to, to bring uh, pictures and uh, prove about uh, the Brit Milah, the Bar Mitzvah, the wedding, the Hina, the circle of life, if we can say that. Now you can see here uh, pictures in black and white from the 60s the, in Morocco. Here you have the synagogue, it's in Marrakesh, in the Melah, it's the first synagogue in Morocco uh, more than 500 years ago. It's still, and they still use this synagogue till, till, till today. 
As the Honorary President and Advisor of the David M. R. North African Heritage Center, Joseph Levy, who lives in Morocco, believes that interactive centers such as this can help fill a necessary void in the educational system that often does not accurately display the richness and diversity of Moroccan Jewish history and culture. The importance of the museum is that it allows our children and the different communities to have access to knowledge and at the same time to not forget their origins. But I would like the museum to be able to spread a message of peace and love for all the different communities and all the different peoples. I think the important thing is that people see that after 1,000 or 2,000 years, or 500 years, or after 600 years from now, even if the community is in the diaspora with their differences, I hope that the museum gives richness to all of them. To learn more about the history of the Moroccan Jewish community while in Jerusalem, the David M. R. North African Heritage Center is open to the public and can be found online. For JN1, this is Michelle Medina reporting from Casablanca.